Hi, in this video I'll talk about the move tool which is often used in GIMP and uh, the keyboard shortcut for this tool is the letter M on your keyboard and uh, by default we have set this tool to this layer mode and pick layer or guide option. Now I have two layers here, one is with this uh, guitarist and uh, the other one is with this frame, black frame around the image and uh, by default like I said we have a pick a layer or guide option if even if I select this option right now with the guitarist and I mouse over here you can see that I'm moving the layer that I'm picking so it doesn't matter which one I have selected here it matters which one, uh, one I am mousing over and picking the frame or the image also with this option on I can uh, move guides can grab a guide, move it around, remove it if I want to. Now with the next option, move the active layer. This will move uh, only the, the layer that we have uh, selected from over here from the layers dialog. So I, if I have the guitarist layer selected, I mouse over the frame, the black frame, I'll still be picking up the guitarist layer. Even if I go outside the canvas, I'll be picking up this layer. So this is how this option works. Let me undo these so we can go back to the default. Now the next option is we can pick and move a selection and to do this we need to create one. So let's grab the rectangles uh, select tool, make a selection then go back to the move tool, select this option and you see now under our move tool icon we also have this uh, icon that indicates that we can move a selection and we can just mouse over grab the selection and reposition it to our liking now the next option is related to path and in order to use it we need to have a path created so let's go to the path dialog here and if you don't have this you should have this by default here but if you don't have it go to windows dockable dialogs and choose this option it should go over here and of course to move a path we need to create one first so we need to grab this tool and just click and create something like this and then click over here in order to make this visible then go back to the move tool make sure this is selected and again just like with the layers we can move the um, we can pick an active path we can pick a path or move an active path so by picking we can click on this and just pick it and reposition it move the active one again like the layers we need to have more than one layer here so we can select the active one and then move it so it's pretty easy nothing difficult here but still often at least with me I often confuse these options and I'll forget that I'm on the active layer try to pick a layer and so on so this can be a little bit frustrating but in time you're going to uh, master it so that's it for the move tool and in the next video I'll talk about the alignment tool which uh, has um, some options that are tricky to understand by yourself and uh, that's it for this video I hope it was useful if it was like it leave me a comment visit my channel for more if you're new to my tutorials and visit the first link in the description for my patreon page if you wanna help out my channel that's it for this one bye for now